Uh, still wearing uh, your Tennessee, the power tee, and you're back for some football camps. I am, yeah. So this will be my third annual camp in the Knoxville area, so I'm excited to be back. Last year was a blast. Um, so it's always fun seeing the kids come out and seeing how much they enjoy the camp, enjoying learning football. So we're definitely excited to be back here in Knoxville this week. What ages do you work with during your football camp? I'm going to say anywhere from 6 to 16. So um, you get the kids just starting football. Uh -huh. Even some kids are in high school playing football. Um, so it's a wide range of um, kids. Most of the kids range from 6 to 12 in that age group. And really teaching a foundation and a love of the game, is that what you focus on? That's the biggest thing. You know, I think we live in a society where um, a lot of people push, put a lot of pressure on their kids to excel at sports, especially at an early age. And sometimes what's missed is just the joy and the thrill of just playing the the game. So I played football since I was five and I love every time I step on the field. Obviously you want to win every time, uh -huh. but at the end of the day you still want to enjoy the opportunities that you have. So that's what I try to teach the kids. It's been fun picking your brain. My youngest will start tackle soon and I know you, you asked me how I felt about that, but um, do you get a chance to talk to parents too or is it just the, the players on the field? I, I do. I interact with the parents. Um, a lot of the parents are excited, just as excited to be there as their kids. So. Um, whatever questions they have for me, I'm always open to just talking about my experience, mm -hmm. um, my what I've learned during the game of football, or even I started playing football when I was five. Yeah. So I know that comes as a shock to a lot of people, <laughs> but um, just talking about my experience and just what football has meant to me. I know I asked you about safety. Um, <laughs> other players, former players, going to help you out with the camp? There are, there are. I know um, I reached out to Jared Marquez, a couple others, so hopefully they'll be able to stop in and say hello and interact with the kids. I know they have fun. I mean, anytime you're in that environment where kids are running up to you, just asking you, uh -huh. um, what is it like to run out of the tee, or what's it like to throw the football, or how can I be better at quarterback, receiver? Um, I think, you know, we all enjoy that, and that's what we live for, giving back to the community, and that's what makes our job and our experience fun. If, it's, if you haven't signed up yet, can you still sign up to participate in your camp? Definitely. The camp still it's still on my Instagram. I just posted something about okay. it uh, probably a couple hours ago. So there's a link on my Instagram. If you still want to sign up, it will be right off campus at the Samson Sports Complex. So um, sign up on Instagram, come out. It should be a great turnout and it should be a lot of fun. Saturday and Sunday? Just Saturday. Just Saturday. Just okay. Saturday. One day camp this year, but um, just Saturday. So hopefully the weather holds off. It should be a beautiful day. Not too hot. So if you're coming out, yeah. make sure to hydrate. We don't Very. need any kids cramping up out there. That's so. right, very important. <laughs> well, catch us up. Uh, what's the, the plan? What's on the agenda this summer for you? So this summer, uh, we have two more weeks in our off-season program. So we have the last week of OTAs and then mandatory mini camp coming up. So it's been a blast to get back on the field. Summer, I'll have one vacation to celebrate with the, with the parents. Um, a big anniversary for big, them. Big anniversary coming up. So they're really excited about that. And then we're grinding, getting ready for the season. You know, we're trying to get that 7th Lombardi Trophy back up to Pittsburgh. So uh, we're, we're itching to get back on the field and compete. That would be nice. My hubby is a huge Steelers fan. <laughs> and talk about that, the, the, your experience with the team and what you're hopeful to, to see this year. You know, it's been um, a great learning opportunity. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, last year, role kind of increased from the year before so to be able to step in and, and make plays for the team when we needed it was an honor and so um, from there we're pushing we're competing each day uh, of course we have a different cast this year than we had last year had some player changes yeah. <laughs> just a couple but um, that just means new guys have to step up take on bigger roles and that's what that's what we're here for and that's what we dream about so we're excited we're definitely excited about the season back to your parents their 30th anniversary you're going on a cruise with them i love that you still hang out with your parents you <laughs> post videos all the time you were in vegas with your parents talk about that relationship I just a black being an only child i feel like you kind of have a different uh, relationship with your parents you know we always hang out recently my dad was able to take a trip with me down to knoxville and back up to pittsburgh i'm uh gonna -huh. um, support me um, always talk to my mom each and every day, planning and coordinating. So I have two of the most loving, supportive parents I could ask for. So they definitely deserve a great vacation this upcoming summer, and I always love spending time with them. That's awesome. Give them our best, please. I will. And we love seeing you. Come back anytime. You're always welcome. Awesome. I'll be back. Okay.